Can you recognize when friends or family are in emotional distress? When we are physically sick or wounded, our wounds are usually visible. But what about an emotional wound? It can be difficult to recognize the signs of emotional distress in others. So what do you look for? How do you see it if they're not open to talking about it? Well, if you look closer, you may see the deep wounds and recognize a person's emotional scars and bruises that need healing. Before we dive in, we would like to say that there has been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we are so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Stay tuned and thanks for being a part of our journey. Here are six signs to look out for. Number one, they avoid talking about certain topics. Ever notice they're trying to change the topic when the conversation heads in a certain direction? Maybe it's talking about family, dating, or one specific person. No matter what the topic is, they get defensive when it's brought up or they completely shut down. This probably means they find it too painful to talk about. They might have some trauma that they've been reliving and don't wanna re-experience it. If you notice they avoid talking about something, the best thing to do is let them be. Giving them time to heal is what a loved one can do to show support. Number two, they bring themselves down. Have you ever felt that when you compliment them, they lack self-confidence and refuse to acknowledge the compliment? In return, they start feeling uncomfortable and their mind begins to fill with self-doubt. It's not uncommon for people with emotional problems or trauma to suffer from low self-esteem. Maybe they were invalidated when younger or still are as an adult. And those opinions became ingrained. Maybe they were bullied or abused and now they can't seem to love themselves or think of themselves as worthy of love. Number three, they always seem tired. Do you feel like their energy levels are always running low? Even with all those empty coffee cups scattered around them, they always look tired or half asleep. And you might even notice some drawling and snailing along the way. Well, low energy levels or fatigue are another very common sign of emotional problems and mental illness. Past trauma or psychological disorders such as depression could make a person tired and groggy because of insomnia or low levels of some important hormones like dopamine. This fatigue may cause them to appear uninterested in doing things or hanging out, but remember, it's not their fault. Number four, they abuse alcohol or drugs. A person with emotional problems often seeks a way to escape their mind. Sometimes they manage to, at least seemingly, Often they find that escape through drugs or alcohol. Did you notice they often seem to have one too many? Maybe they overindulge during parties or even have a few glasses during the day. If their drinking is noticeable to everyone around them, they're probably abusing it. But what causes that behavior could be a deep emotional wound that they're hiding inside. Number five, they often go through mood swings. Is every day an emotional roller coaster with them? You don't know which emotion they'll show next. Will it be euphoria? or the blues. More often than not, mental health problems can result in mood swings and inconsistent emotions that can range from extreme highs to extreme lows. This can also lead to unpredictable behavior. One minute they may be overly friendly and the other they may get irritated if you simply say hello. And finally, number six, they neglect their appearance. Is their hair often messy and uncombed? Are their clothes wrinkled and dirty? Do you think they maybe don't shower regularly? Poor hygiene and difficulty keeping up with appearances is a common sign of mental problems, which is easily noticeable to others. A person who is suffering may find it difficult to find the energy to keep up with their looks. They might stop brushing their teeth or using deodorant. If someone you know fits this description, don't think that they're just lazy right off the bat. They may be dealing with some serious emotional distress. So do you think these signs describe someone you know? Do you think they might be hiding some emotional pain? If that's the case, be careful how you approach the situation. If they're not ready to talk, don't try to push them. But you can tell them that you've noticed they seem a bit down and tell them you're always there for them if they ever need a friend. Maybe some nice words would make their day. Let us know your experiences in the comments and please share this video with others who might benefit. The references and studies used are added in the description below. Take care and thanks for watching.